The Chinese Navy is one of the largest and most advanced fleet in the world, possessing a vast fleet of military hardware, ranging anywhere from giant aircraft carriers that strike terror in the heart of the enemy by their sheer size, to the $500 million devastating electromagnetic railgun. In today's video, we're going to explore the reason behind why the Chinese Navy has become so powerful now that it's on its way to build these monstrously powerful railguns and why no government would dare risk trespassing in the Chinese waters. The Chinese Navy has one of the largest number of ships of any of the world's naval forces. The Chinese Navy regularly conducts operations in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Additionally, its Navy vessels carry out missions in the South Asian region as well. Today's fleet consists of more than 300 vessels. The number of operating ships is planned to increase to 305 units by 2023 and by 2049, according to a 30-year shipbuilding plan, the Chinese intends to expand to 355 ships. Delivering another surprise to the military planners in the Indo-Pacific China reportedly is ready to test its first ship-mounted electromagnetic railgun or EMRG. After a picture of a Chinese ship with mounted gun resembling EMRG appeared online, the world was alarmed to the fact that China appeared to have developed a working railgun. This created quite a buzz among the online defense sites. Giving credence to the buzz, People's Daily, the mouthpiece of Chinese government, said, Though the U.S. has been openly developing electromagnetic guns for years, it doesn't mean that China is far behind in this field, as the latter usually keeps quiet about its progress due to secrecy concerns. The report accepts that picture-making round was released and the railgun was indeed mounted on the bow of the People's Liberation Army Navy's Type 072 2 landing ship Haiyan Shan. Reports also say that as the U.S. funding for railgun has declined, it has provided China a chance to catch up. The guns are power-intensive systems, and the landing ship generates enough power to fire them. These are expected to arm the China's first 10,000-ton destroyer, the Type 055. So what is a railgun? The electromagnetic railgun is an emerging gun technology which has revolutionized the way a gun operates as it fires projectiles employing electricity instead of using chemical propellants. This is achieved by producing magnetic fields by high electrical currents, which accelerates a sliding metal conductor between two rails to launch projectiles at about 7,200 km per hour. The idea behind EMRG is magnetic field created by electric current which interacts with the metal object and makes it move. The force created is at right angles to both direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. This simple idea has been translated to develop a railgun. Instead of gunpowder, pure electricity powers the railgun's projectiles. But despite the lack of explosives, railgun projectiles still cause fireballs because the round travels so fast that the air and metal itself combust under the immense friction. This indicates the massive amount of electricity needed to fire the railgun a big problem for China or any warship. To fire a railgun, any ship would require an integrated electric power system which can channelize all the power generated in the ship to fire the railgun, and after the shot has been fired, it will resume the normal electrical supply. In 2015, China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation had announced that they have crossed a certain threshold in electromagnetic launch technologies. China has developed an integrated propulsion system that can handle both EMALs and other power-consuming weapons like electromagnetic guns, laser weapons, etc. Massive technological jump for any nation. IPS with conventional power can convert power more efficiently than nuclear propulsion. With this kind of flexibility, IPS can also be fitted in other vessels like destroyers. At the center of the IPS is a semiconductor device called Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor and its related technology. State-owned Zhuzhou CRC Times Electric, manufacturer of propulsion and control systems for trains and electric vehicles during the economic crisis of 2008, acquired 75% stakes in Dynex Semiconductor, a British electronic component maker to access the restricted IGBT technology. The underdevelopment Type 055 destroyers is being compared to the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt-class destroyers. Both these naval ships are slated to have railguns in their arsenal. The first Type 055 is undergoing outfitting at the Chinese Jiangnang shipyard. The ship was launched in June last year. It is expected to enter into the service sometimes this year. The guided missile destroyer was launched on June 28 at China State Shipbuilding Corps' Jiangnang shipyard in Shanghai, 
and it is expected to carry 100 vertically launched missiles. It will carry anti-ship, anti-submarine, anti-aircraft, and anti-ballistic missile capabilities. The stealth ship, when fully loaded, may reach 13,000 tons. The enormous firepower of the ship will come handy when it will replace the Type 052 destroyers from its aircraft carrier's escort duty. The Type 055 is designed to fulfill the needs of the carrier battle group. The U.S. has proposed putting a railgun on the new Zumwalt class of destroyer. The Chinese are likely to put a railgun on the Type 055 destroyer. The Zumwalt produces twice the electricity of the Type 055. Additionally, the Chinese would have to clear the same engineering and operational hurdles that have kept the U.S. from mounting the railgun on a ship. Railguns produce a lot of heat and have a short barrel life. After rapid-fire shots, the gun barrel might be susceptible to dangerous warping, and aiming a railgun that can fire at targets as far as 100 miles away and from a warship that's rocking in the seas also poses serious challenges. The railguns are next-generation technology, and China wants to prove to the U.S. and the entire world that they are technologically advancing. China's opaque system has shrouded the new railgun prototype in mystery. If China were to place one of these mysterious next-generation guns in the South China Sea, it would have beaten the U.S. to the punch on a major technological advance and projected a unique kind of power unmatched by the West. At a time when the U.S. and China are battling to see whose vision of the future can win out, it makes sense that Beijing would try to shame Washington by winning this leg of the arms race. Large guns mounted on ships would be useful for bombardment missions, but China has stuck with 130mm guns for its navy and appears disinterested in large guns, which is one reason to doubt this is a conventional weapon. Also, this gun is huge but has a stubby barrel which would limit its range if it were a conventional weapon. Furthermore, if this was an ordinary chemically powered gun, there would be no need for the additional equipment scattered about on the deck of the landing craft. The land-based American system can accelerate a 23-pound metal projectile to 4,500 miles an hour, and the Navy's goal is an effective range of more than 100 miles. To achieve this feat, the railgun requires 25 megawatts of power per shot, enough to power 19,000 homes. China's railgun weapon and the Haiyangshan are currently parked on the Yangtze at the Wuchang shipyards in Wuhan, China. Although this location lies more than 100 miles inland, the Yangtze is navigable by seagoing vessels for up to 1,000 miles. Far from the heavily watched shipyards on the coastline, Wuchang is a good place to quietly conduct shipboard trials of a new weapon system on an actual ship. That is, until the trials attract attention from curious ship spotters with access to social media. Railguns have the potential to revolutionize warfare. Faster than missiles and longer range than conventional guns, railguns could shoot enemy airplanes, anti-ship missiles, and ballistic missiles out of the sky, skewer enemy warships, and bombard targets on land. One weapon could fulfill many roles. China is thought to have been working on a railgun system for years, but nobody outside of the intelligence community knew the extent of progress Beijing has made. Even with these photos, we still know very little. Is this the first railgun or the tenth? How much power does it require? Has it been fired before? Assuming this is China's first railgun, it could be argued that mounting it on a ship steals a march on the U.S. Navy. Then again, we know the U.S. Navy's weapon works and has worked for years. China's is probably not an operational weapon system, so for now, it doesn't really matter if it's on a ship or not. We don't know if China is ahead of America in the railgun game, but one thing is for sure, America's lead in railgun tech is not as far forward as everyone thought it was. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out.